Hello from Chination.com. This is Mark Chow C. Today uh, we're going to talk about the self-defense uh, stuff again. So this is another other lecture. For the self-defense lecture today, we'll be using a coastal product. This is the coastal uh, walking stick, American walking stick, or oh, African, not American. Sorry. <laughs> so you can see the ball shape here. It's pretty uneven. It's not a sphere. It's a like a ball with many angles. And also, um, the the stick here have uh, some bumps. So it's uh, made of very good uh, quality plastic. And uh, yeah, so the thing here is meant to be a an impact weapon and also a tool. You can use it as a walking stick, like that, okay, you're walking, walk around. And also, what you need, you can take it out and use it on a combat situation. So, in case, okay, you break this anywhere and you need to use it anywhere, here are some very fun techniques that you may not know of. Most of the people will know, okay, when you buy this, they will know that this thing here, the head, it's very tough and they're heavy. So for the majority of the people, they, you will hold it on the this end with the thinner end. And then you'll be smacking, okay? You'll be smacking like a hammer or a bat, like a sledgehammer, okay? So it feels very natural to do that kind of movement. And here, let me show you a trick. Okay, so let me show you a trick here. Right here, we are holding with both hands, okay? Like this. If I want to hit right where you are, and I'm standing here, I cannot do it, you see? If I do this, it will get to this point. Now let's see what I'm gonna do. You slide, okay, slide one hand over here while I walk up Okay, walk up with the left foot, walk up and slide. Okay. Let's try again, like this, bam. Why don't I go, why don't I go hold it like this and then smash? It's because when you're holding with both hands like that first, okay, when you need to smash someone, you need to carry the thing over your head and then smash down. It's a waste of energy to do all that movement. Or like this and smash down. It takes too much effort. When you're holding here, all you need to do is slide and then there we go. You see, you just need to slide forward. Slide and then you're already smacked on your opponent. Whereas, okay, compared to this, to here only, or you want to hold this and then smack. Okay, at the further distance that you have to travel. And also by holding it both hands like that, when someone is coming at you, you can also block with here at the middle, block away, or you can block away, or you can block up, block down, block to the side. Okay. You can block while holding it with both hands and you can evenly use, utilize the stick. So everyone look at that. You can also hold this and slide forward to hold it this way, okay? For this way, attack. You can attack this way, or you can attack that way. See? Just slide and smash. The key here to have a powerful strike is to have the backhand stick to your waist okay so everyone look at that you stick to your waist first while sliding the hand and then squeeze okay when you're at the spot of like the um, place where your stick should be hitting you squeeze and hold tight and then relax instantly it's like like that okay you go squeeze and relax Squeeze and relax, like that. Okay, so everyone, let's take a look. 
bring to here and slide. There we go. Again, slide. Again, slide. See, it's very fast. Now the other side, slide. And slide. Always keep it on the waist. Why do you want to do that? Well, easy. If you have a friend to help you out, okay, try doing this. Grab one end and put it here. And then now put the other hand here. Okay, with this position, my left hand is holding the bottom, the right hand holding here, okay? And have your left leg uh, forward. Now you should have your friend try to do this. Tell them to put their hand here and push up. Okay, push up. And then you, okay, you will feel that your structure here is preventing them to move upward. Because the first thing is the forward hand is locking it down and this, the backward hand is also securing one point to the waist. So the max it can go is here. See, it cannot go any further up. If your hand is like this, it can be woo, like that. So remember that the structure, the body structure is the most important thing for power, not how far you travel. If you have to travel that far to go like that, while you're traveling, the other guy can already attack you when you're empty. But if you're in this position, you can always change. See, change, change, and then attack. See, you can change, change, and attack. Or you can block and then attack. See, so the main technique this, in this lesson is about how to slide, okay, first to your hip while you slide the other hand and attack. Don't overdo it, everyone. What I mean by overdoing is like this. Woo, and then it swing all the way down. You just need to stop right here. Trust me, it will work. What you are hitting is their head. So my head level is supposed to be here. Now we are already striking lower than the head. It means that when you're banging this onto the head, it goes here and down here. So it's smacking more than enough force already. You don't need to go all the way and down to the ground. That's too much. Don't waste energy. Use your body to uh, stabilize the structure and use the structural power, not the swinging power. That's the difference between combat and hitting bricks. Okay, when you're hitting bricks, you want to break it in one strike. But in a combat situation, the guy will move around. You cannot just depend on one strike. If you do too much for one strike, it's a waste of energy. Enough is enough. See? Just enough is enough. If, if you miss in this strike, you can always block and attack again. See? Block and attack again. Or if you miss in this strike, you can always pick up the other hand, block, and then strike. There's a lot of variations here. Let me show you a few, okay? Attack, and then I miss. Block, strike, and then turn to a sword. And then block again, and you can strike the head. See? You can also be attacking, and then you um, have to chase the guy. So you step forward, and then hit again here. See? You can attack, hit, and then you can block the leg, Bang! Again, to the head again. Or you can be blocking right here and then striking the throat. There are a lot of things you can do with this thing. It's very fun. Deep block the front, strike. Block the low and then whip. So you can whip. There is a lot of technique you can do with the uh, African walking stick. It's totally fun and super cool tool. So everyone, this is the lecture of today, and remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye!